Okay, folks. We're up to the last few episodes of this. I'm not going to be streaming them because, well, I'd rather be streaming something else, to be honest, because I like horror games, and this is not that much of horror. So, and I've passed Igor, I need to tell you something. Remember when you asked me why the lurkers stay away from our village? I wasn't entirely honest with you. All right. I don't know exactly how it works, but Mave has a way of keeping these creatures at a distance. He has this strange powder. He calls it dust, but it's yeah. secret. Only a handful of people even know it exists. Dust? Why are you telling me about this? Because I can see you for what you are now. And what's that? A forthright and honorable man. Maybe it a changed. little awkward Two in things. social situations. Anyway, it'll help Helicopter. us in your heist. Blender. You should get your hands on some as soon as possible. And erase that data. So therefore, I managed to get her back. Well, see if it works, that, uh, there must be something to it. Siege thing. I should definitely look into it. I worked on her. You should. Bonded with her. Okay. So I'll check it out. So first chance cool. I get. She's now good. And I am now unlocked a new mission because of that. Black Stalker. Let's hit it up. Food stash. Uh, you can do that. Everyone's got a job, let's go do it. Hop to it. <laughs> Magic powder? It's not really your style to believe in such things, is it, Igor? Still, if there's any truth to it, it could be your best chance to defeat the shadows, and perhaps even him, the Black Stalker. Stalking stalkers? I stalk you, you stalk me, we all stalk each other free. Da, 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 da. Creepy guy staring at you through the window with his eyes full on staring at you like some creep. <sighs> okay, so let's go find out why. He's... Watch out for those bastards, Igor. I heard on the radio that they're sending more troops to Red Forest. Some more troops. The good thing is, I got now fully upgraded weapons. A lot of them. So bring it on. Okay, there's one there. Yeah, let's see if we can hit it from here. Spring cleaning on the place, hey? Eh? Alright, there's no more of my radar. Seems to me I got them all. Oh, no. Shorty time. The boot. <laughs> Jesus. All right, at least we know that works. Olga, I think I found some of this, what did you call it, dust? Stay vigilant. There could be lurkers nearby. Those things are never too far away. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? eBay. Uh, don't shoot. I'm uh, friendly. Friendly, my ass. Turn around and keep walking until you disappear. Why so hostile? I helped you guys out, remember? I need to speak with Madfei. Did you now? Olga's gone and Kostya is missing. Probably because of you. Some help. <laughs> Look, I, I really need this dust. Maybe we can work out some kind of arrangement. No can do. 
There's too much going on right now. Kostya and Matvey are both gone. I don't give a toss about Kostya, but Matvey is a different story. At least we know what mm. happened to our kin. Fucking NAR bastards. Okay. Yeah, let's okay. Leave then. I'll be going now. Good idea. Make yourself scarce, friendo. Did you hear that? Can you talk to this guy? Talking to this halfwit is a waste of time. <laughs> Any suggestions? Go to the cemetery. At least that's what we call it. Matt Bay used to visit there from time to time. Maybe you'll find him there. Or Kostya. Okay. Cemetery. 90 minutes this way. Just run for it. Don't see any more enemy coming up anyway, so... I have to wipe them all out. Oh, I have a look like a human then. Jesus. This isn't really a cemetery, is it? It looks more like a mass grave. I know, but it gives this awful place a kind of dignity, doesn't it? NAR used to dump bodies here. Phosphorus, light lime. In time, it'll burn everything up. I found my mom there, what's left of her. Oof. What? Why didn't you tell me? Any other secrets you'd like to share? I didn't want you to know about this place until now. Besides, everyone has secrets. The only question is, how harmful are they? Mm. Watch it. Interesting. Unbelievable. Is it possible they were telling the truth? What's going on? Remember hmm. when I told you about Chernobylite being a giant turtle that supports the Earth? It, it, it could be true, well, at least partially. What do you mean? It seems to be organic. Moreover, it shows signs of basic cognitive functioning. Uh, to put it plainly, it learns. That's why it avoids the lie and phosphorus. <laughs> Incredible. That explains why the shadows won't touch it. I have no idea how Matvey came up with this, but he hit the jackpot. You huh. can tell me the rest when you get back. Bring the dust. I told you to return to the UK, Igor, but I see you didn't listen. Well, it's understandable in a way. How bad? You're constantly interfering in everyone's business. <laughs> You're the wild card of the zone. There's no telling if you'll end up on the side of the heroes, or the rats. You're talking gibberish. You think I don't know you've been talking to Semenov? Perhaps even Koslov? Who else, I wonder? But your little gang of misfits and rejects has no idea you're playing both sides. Uh -oh. How do you... You really are naive, aren't you, Igor? Like a lost little boy. That big brain of yours still can't comprehend what's really going on. Perhaps you're not so special after all. Rat? Why did he call you a rat, Mousy? They're using you, and you can't even see it. Did you ever think to stop running everyone's errands for five minutes and ask yourself why you're here? Hmm. Why you're really here? You're insane. Chernobylite is messing with your mind. Listen, I never sold anyone out. Someone sent me a picture of Tatiana, and I saw her in my dreams. She called out for me to find her. You're a goddamn liar. She would never. No, mm. you don't belong here. It's the truth, and I can tell you believe it. You're delusional. Semenov used a photograph to lure you here, to get you to mess with my plans. He made you his puppet, whether you realize it or not. Okay. I'm gonna reveal you. You is. underestimate me, old friend. Yes, I know it's you, Boris. What <laughs> happened to you? We had our differences back in the day, but we were also good friends, the three of us. Tatiana has always been the most important person in my life. That's true. But that doesn't mean I don't care about anyone else, about my friends. Friends? <laughs> sure. Sure, Boris and Igor, bosom comrades to the end. 
cross my heart and all that. It's really bizarre to see you claiming something that doesn't belong to you. If only you knew. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but I don't care. I will find Tatiana. If I have to go through you to do so, I will. You're not lacking in courage, Igor. But courage without knowledge is indistinguishable from stupidity. <laughs> do you understand what you're up against? I know you talk to those halfwits in my lab. Their indiscretion cost them their lives, by the way. You oh, killed them shit. for telling me that crazy theory of yours? That Chernobylite is an organism so powerful it can produce uh -oh. singularities and wormholes inside its own multi-dimensional body? Believe what you want. But how do you hope to challenge such power if you can't even defeat me? You're so far out of your depth, you don't even realize. I yes. have my own plans, and they don't involve you. Not yet, anyway. I'm not going to kill you. Not today. You can thank her for that. But I can't make any promises about the future. Ooh, Who okay. knows what the future will bring? I sincerely hope I never see you again, Igor. Well, shit. That was impressive, what you did back there. You faced a monster and survived. Not mm. everyone can say that. You're shit. And you two have history, right? Damn. Respect, man. Really. Thanks, I guess. But keep your eyes on the prize, okay? We're not done quite yet. Okay, he locked that. What about the other dude? He didn't like that, did he? Because he put all freaking with the red door dude now. Alright. No, no more quests? Job done? Wait. Let's get the hell out of here. On to the next mission. Yay! Whoo! Getting late. Getting late. Getting late, 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 late. Okay, come on, come on. Hmm. Oh, Praise the great rat catcher in the skies. You faced the devil himself and survived. Oh, thank Christ. He's yes. <laughs> it was quite an experience. Don't worry. I could never believe that you were the rat king. Or even a lesser rat. You have a pure heart. I oh, trust you. But now, we know exactly what we're up against. Chernobylite is the evil that descended upon this world. It's the true face of the Rat King. Listen oh, to me, Igor. Whatever the cost, we have to destroy it. Okay, crazy dude. Good for you, buddy. Fucking money. So, everyone's happy. He's happy, I'm happy. Yippee, yay. They commit suicide again. Sippy key. And then run straight through. Should we get another mission, maybe? Igor, it's not the yeah. end. Oh. I won't let it end like this. Go, die, fade, portal, oh. help, die, Igor. Ego. Any dummy. Boys asleep. <sighs> Come on. Yay. Boy. Alright. Some of these decisions I made are all set. In stone at the moment, so good. Yeah, I just changed this one because I wanted him to die if I didn't betray me, so fuck it. He didn't die there. Okay. 
Ah, so this is that mission done. And then there's this one. Hmm. One more job. And we're done. Let's get it done. Hopefully it activates right away. I don't have to freaking, you know, wait for it. That would suck. I should have all the documents for the lady in the red dress now, though, shouldn't I? Oop. Here we go. Igor. Igor, I need you. Meet me in the Pripyat residential area. Residential area? Is that the same one as before? Oh. oh! It's done! Sweet! Righty. Ooh, rest for the day. That one next, which is the same one. Okay, so I'm freaking repeating itself for some reason. Don't know why, but it's so irritating. So, rest in base. Did I use the head thingy? We'll have a look at the lady in the red dress um, mission. See what that unlocks. Sweet, thank you. Maybe we're gonna have double rations today since we've got so freaking much of it. Jesus. Alright, here we go. Down we go. Okay. Let's begin it. So what's that? Okay, so uh, that unlocked it all. Okay, let's run a simulation then. This is new. We have a new toy. Okay, let's have a whoa. Okie dokie. It's a bit janked, isn't it? You're absolutely sure about that, Professor Semenov? It's the only logical explanation. How else would Amelieva's gamma brainwaves be able to interact with Chernobylite if it wasn't at least partially sentient? And what about the gate? Some advanced form of telekinesis. Advanced form of telekinesis? What the... Gate? That's not a sufficient explanation, not by a long shot. But if what you're saying is true, that would mean that the wormholes are... No, that is impossible. Why impossible? Think about it. Just because we've never seen an organism powerful enough to create, withstand, or even direct the exotic energy found near black holes, doesn't mean okay. it doesn't exist. What do the black holes mean then? Huh? My tiny brain hurts. <laughs> so these fractal tunnels, they're also organic. So we're what? Traveling through the veins ah. of a giant multi-dimensional Moby Dick? Right now, thanks to his trials, only the Black Stalker is. And if you like to play with metaphors, I would say more like a giant multi-dimensional squid. And that would make the shadows, what? Some kind of external white blood cells? Ooh. 
and we are the bacteria which is it is fighting on. Oh dear, we fucked up. This could be end the world consequences here. Hi. My gooey friends. Ew. I quite like that theory. They are here to nourish the main host and protect it from intruders and diseases. Us. <coughs> Most yeah. of us, yes. Shadows emerge through the unstable gate, so you don't think it was retaliation or an invasion? No. I would rather call it the reaction of an organism that was attacked by something foreign. Hmm. And we were the idiots who stepped in it. By foreign, you mean our test subjects. So shadows are some sort of antibodies. Exciting, isn't it? And Amelie Ava is like the correct protein, the conduit. She can communicate with the beast, but the beast can also speak through her. I've seen what happened to subjects who were exposed to Chernobylite. Getting some face time with this must be unsettling. No shit. Going out there and face one of those things is popping in the ground in a pool right next to you? <laughs> no, thank you. Not fun. What yeah, do you stuff. care? Our names will go down in the history books next to Newton and Einstein. Of course, Professor Semonov. This is all worth it. So Chernobylite is some kind of sentient multidimensional organism. And Tanya can communicate with it. This is... I can't even wrap my head around this. Strange. Huh. But how can she do communicate with it? How? Like special brain power because of the radiation? It's been so long, my love. Why can't I hear you anymore? Since you gave birth to the boy and fell into a coma. You used to visit me in my dreams. Okay. I miss our conversations. I I miss you, Tanya. Sometimes. I think I lost my way in all this. Lost myself. You think? You traded her in and caused her life a living hell, and now you're like, I miss you. Get fucked. Psycho? We both made so many sacrifices, and now I'm not even sure what awaits us at the end of this road. But this is our only chance to be together. You cannot lose hope now. Please. Just let Semenov have what he wants. Give it to him, and then we can have each other. Poor bastard. It seems his delusion keeps him going. But I need to focus. I have to find out what Tanya is supposed to give to Semenov. Ooh, there she is. Playing the red dress. Live and kicking. Like the mummy. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Next portal. Thank you. It's fascinating, Professor Semenov. Really. But I'm here to discuss business, not scientific curiosities. Our investors need to see a return on their investment. You don't need to worry about that. It can be monetized in ways they can't even imagine. But that's just the thing. These people don't like surprises. Jesus Christ. They want to know precisely what to expect. New types of weapons, medicine, a new means of transportation. All of that and more. You can tell your precious investors that the millions they're pouring into our project will come back to them as billions. And what about the Duga radar? Okay. It's been drawing all kinds of unnecessary attention over the years. These dark tourists and those damn stalkers. It has served its purpose. You can scrap it and make razors for all I care. We've got Amelie Ava now. Oh, She's shit. the ultimate conduit. Really? We we'll just use her as a test subject for the rest of her life. Locked in the tube. You guys are dicks. What we have in the works right now, it will transform the NAR into the biggest conglomerate in the world. 
It's going to be a trillion dollar business. We will use Amelieva to stabilize the gate to another world, the Chernobylites world. And once we are able to travel there, this will be a revolution unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. Don't like that. Look at sun. Bad mad scientist, bad. You could call it an ontological shock. Ontolo what? Never mind. Okay, as long as you find a safe way of putting a dollar sign on it, you've got the permission of the board. But, you know, just keep your feet on the ground, okay, Professor? We're here to make money, not destroy the world or cause shocks of any kind. Yeah. I've got it all under control. Everything is in place, and our patient Zero is ready. Uh, Dear God, like that. so that's what Semenov needs Tanya for? Stabilizing a wormhole? A gate to the origin of Chernobylite. I need to get to the power plant and find her fast before he can carry out this insane plan. Who he knows what can happen to her or to the world? I've got to make a plan and move fast. Well, I killed him already, so. Oops. She does. I made a fucky wucky. Hmm. Um, that should unlock the next day. I still have that one more area to unlock. I think I have to wait a few days or something. Hmm. Uh, well, that's the case. Maybe I can push the days further by doing one more of the uh, siege things and get them to lock me a bit more. Day. Two, two, three, one. Two more skill points, yay! I know you're there, Professor hey. Kaminiuk. Answer the radio. We need to have a little chat. I've got something that may interest you, Igor. Mum's number? Are you. General Kozlov, in the flesh. Oh, I need to talk it? to you. Again. Why should I trust you? <laughs> I don't need you to trust me. Simply listen and draw your own conclusions. But not here. Red Forest. Next to the train station. Come alone. You know, I'm gonna try to find out. What's so important that it can't be discussed on the radio? A matter of life and death. Perhaps yours. Perhaps someone else's. You'll have to meet me to find out. I don't like this one bit. I know, Professor, but be there anyway. There won't be another chance. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do this.